Hey there YouTube, Mr. Krish on the go here. You probably heard about the term engine braking or running. A proper braking is needed and important for our bike. So today in this video I'm gonna discuss about engine braking or running. So what is basically engine braking is? It is the procedure of conditioning your bike's brand new engine by giving it an initial period of running. So every new engine has internal components that must be worn in. The main components that need to be worn in are the valves, the cylinder board and the piston ring. These components must be worn in so that they are made properly with the surface and will interact with over the life of the engine. Now I won't go in deep explanation about what are the valves, the cylinder board or the piston rings. If you want me to make another video about these things please comment down below i will surely make one for you guys so why we need to break in properly and the answer is ensure good performance reliability and longevity of the engine a proper engine break-in ensures lower exhaust emission will optimize performance and fuel economy and longevity of the engine so for the first 1000 to 1500 kilometers do not use full throttle Keep it in between 5000 to 6000 rpm maximum. Avoid high engine speed all the time. Avoid riding at one constant speed. Avoid aggressive startup, stop, and rapid acceleration. Except in any emergency. Do not ride at a speed greater than 3 4 times of the maximum engine speed. That means if you assume that your bike goes up to 100 km per hour. So ride in 3-4 times of the maximum speed that is 75 km per hour. Always downshift before the engine begins to struggle. Do not ride too hard or too slow but at a normal speed. Keep maintaining the balance between these two. Make sure no synthetic oil is used during the break-in period or for the first 2000 kilometers use regular oil recommended by the maintain, maintenance guy or the manufacturer 10w40 oil is best for the most of the bike so this is the procedure of how to break in properly hope you find it useful and understand the process always follow the instruction manual before riding and make sure to wear a helmet and proper riding gears for any other queries, put a comment in the comment section below. I will surely answer your queries. And please give this video a like if you find it useful. Or if not, then hit the dislike button. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. And now I know my heart is a